everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I decided to take a different route to one of my places down here in Lancaster, just to change it up a little bit. Now, corner of my eye, I just happened to see this. And I made a couple of videos on these before, uh, closer to where I live. This one is called Butcher's Mill. I actually see a plaque over here. Butcher's Mill Cover Bridge. I don't know much about it, but I definitely like these things. And I wanted to get a, get a good shot of it. Let me spin this around so you can see it. You can stop the camera if you want to read it. It says here it was built in 1881. Uh, anyhow, you can read all that if you want. Anyhow, let's go inside and check this thing out. Let me spin the camera around. Lancaster. Butcher's Mill, 1891, 64 foot. I love seeing all this old woodwork. Go slow so you can get a good look at it. Now this one here is open. The couple up by my house that I looked at were completely closed. Let's see what's on this side. Oh, it's somebody's house. Hi, puppy. Hi. Doggy's on that side. It's a nice view of it. it some... oh, I figured I'd go back to the other side here so I don't bother the dogs there. Definitely a very cool bridge. Don't work. Let's see if I can get some shots from underneath. I'll show a picture of this one more time in case I didn't get it in focus. You can pause the video if you want to read it. How cool is that? Shots from the other side. All right. Uh oh. It's all right, buddy. Well, there we have it. That's the Butcher's Mill Cover Bridge, 1881. I didn't know much about it, but I at least wanted to get some pictures of it and walk through it and let you see uh, what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't think this is as fancy as some of the other ones, but it's definitely cool seeing this one and seeing a little bit of part of history here. Um, I did make a couple other videos. I think I mentioned it earlier, but somewhere during these videos, I'll put links up there. Or if not, if you want to check my channel out, I definitely shot some of these before. And it's a shame um, when I shot my other ones, that's when my drone was working. I was able to fly up above and get some really good aerial shots of the other ones. Um, really makes me want to get my drone working again or buy a new one. So, uh, anyhow, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hit that like, hit the comments, do something. If not, that's okay too. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.